Well, 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 Islanders, feedback matters. I guess they really do look at those surveys. All of you Islanders who have given some feedback to Carnival Cruise Line, you said you missed the paper fun times that were taken away. Some blamed COVID for it. Some blamed protecting the environment and saving paper. In any case, the paper Carnival fun times are back. They're about to be back in your cabin every evening. We've got news on that today. Plus, so many of you have been asking over the last several months, what is this new Choose Fun Italian style? The Carnival Venezia is about to launch this summer. We are on the transatlantic voyage and Carnival this afternoon, 1 o'clock p.m. Central Time, has some big announcements regarding this ship, new spaces, and what's going to be included in this new concept for the brand. Lastly today, crazy things that you have seen at sea, you look out, you see something wild. Wait until you see what I share on the show today. We all need some time in the islands, Islanders. Let's get there now on Island Time. A big happy Thursday to all you Islanders. We are almost done with the week. Can you believe that? Thank you so much for stopping by the show today. This is Island Time. I am Derek. We are dropping our anchors, taking some time to relax in the islands together, discussing the latest in cruising and cruise news, some surprising and different cruise news stories for you today. We're about to talk about those here in just a second. First, let me ask you this. If you're not a subscriber, a member to this awesome community, I personally invite you to do so now. Hit that subscribe button, ring the bell to receive notifications when we upload content, which is just about every single day. The dominating story in the cruise news industry today is kind of out of left field. It's a curveball. It's something that several passengers on Carnival Cruise Lines had an issue with a couple of years ago maybe 18 months ago. And yes, some people still uh, yell about it. Some people are still upset about it, but the more majority of cruisers have moved on. Carnival Cruise Line is announcing that the paper fun times, the staple, the newspaper that was taken away after COVID for different various reasons, it is coming back. All the feedback that you left on surveys, all the times you reached out to John Hild, all the times you went to guest services and you said, I want the paper copy. Please give me the paper copy. They are coming back in a matter of days. John Hild sharing this on his social media page, John Hild, Carnival Brand Ambassador. I must say a massive thank you to the Beards for listening to the comments I sent them. And so in the days and weeks ahead, we will provide a printed version of the fun times in the cabin mailbox the night before. Some of you may not know what I'm even talking about, but the fun times is a paper copy of all the events that are going to take place the next day. It has the specials, the sales, bingo times, activity times, comedy show, specialty dining, spa specials. It has everything included. And it used to be so much fun to look at these fun times. And I'll share this with you. One of my favorite and earliest mem uh, memories of cruising with Amanda is at the end of a long night, we would go inside our cabin, we would open the door and there set uh, a tow animal and the fun times. And it was always neat as you unwound and you thought about, man, what an awesome day I just had. You would pick up that fun times and you would look at it to see what was in store tomorrow. You might get the old pen or pencil and circle the things or star the things that you wanted to do tomorrow. It was so neat at the end of the day to get that look at it and say, look at what we have to do tomorrow. Did anyone else do that? Did anyone else enjoy doing that? Let us know in the comment section below. Of course, we could have still done that the last 18 or 24 months, right? The Carnival Hub app is there. They've made many improvements to it. And yes, at the end of the night, we could have gone to our cabin and pulled up our phone and looked at it. But there was a, something uh, quaint, something unique about having that paper copy. And it is indeed coming back in a matter of days. One note, it will not be on your bed when you enter your room. It's going to be in your mailbox. But how neat will it be at the end of every night to pull that thing out of the mailbox, to go, into si go inside your cabin and to look at what's in store for tomorrow. Let's weigh in on this because there are many people who have moved on from the, fun, the paper fun times. 
Maybe they didn't like it at first, but they got used to the fun times available on the Carnival Hub app. Does this mean anything to you? Do you get excited about this? Or have you transitioned to an electronic copy of the fun times? Let us know in the comment section below what you think about this news from Carnival Cruise Line. Does it excite you? Will you use the paper fun times? Do you think it was the right decision? Or do you think, you know what? They already went the electric E uh, route. Should they have just kept on doing what they're doing? Many of the growing pains were gone. Let us know. I cannot wait to hear from you. We might even set up a poll to see what you prefer. Cruise news story number two. This one is fun because it is different and involves a new ship, a new product offering for Carnival Cruise Line. Many of us have heard Choose Fun Italian Style. We've heard about this new marketing, this new product from Carnival Cruise Line, taking on sister Costa ships, bringing them into the fleet, but we don't know what to expect. We don't know... The Choose Fun Carnival branded theme mixed with the Costa ship, what is it going to look like? We have questions about it. We know that the product is launching. The Carnival Venetia, she's going to sell from Barcelona, Spain, May the 29th. She's going to sell to New York City. It's going to take 15 days. We're going to be there. We will share all of our experiences of this new product, this new concept. Make sure you're subscribed to see those. But we're going to find out some of the details about what is this product? What will the experience be like? Carnival offerings that are there, new offerings or offerings that are staying from Costa or the Italian theme. We've already, we've heard some details, right? But today, one o'clock p.m. Central Time, I'm going to join uh, this Zoom call with Adolfo and uh, uh, one of the new build uh, experts and they're gonna share some of this new concept. I cannot wait to share it with you. I will share what I learned on our Facebook page and tomorrow on the show. We're excited about that. As we wrap up the show today, this is always interesting. So many of us have, have encountered and experienced many different things at sea. Some of us have seen great things from dolphins and different fish swimming in the water to Coast Guard uh, rescues in the water or on the ship to also uh, rescues of, of people who are in makeshift boats and we bring these refugees on board. We've seen some interesting things at sea and this story is no different. This is so cool. This actually happened last year, but it's making its way around social media right now. Look at this video here. This is the National Geographic ship. The Endurance guest and crew members are sailing in and around Antarctica and look at what they experience. Fin wells, the majority anyway, fin wells. They say that between 830 and 1,153 fin wells with a handful of blue and humpback wells are around the ship. You can see them and hear them. How awesome is this? This is a, a wild experience at sea. One of the largest gathering, they think, uh, that's been captured of wells at sea. What a sight this would be. Some of us have seen northern lights. We've seen wildlife as we cruise in Alaska. We've seen so many different things at sea, and this is just one experience, an unplanned experience of something that you see, you pull out your camera, you take pictures, you record, and you say, look at this. Wow, you can't make this up. You can't recreate it. So many of us have had experiences like that. And what I want you to do is to share your experience. What have you seen? that you can't make up, you can't plan. There it is, share that in the comment section below. It's gonna be interesting to see what all of our experiences are. Islanders, I hope you enjoyed the show today. If so, give it a thumbs up. Make sure that you subscribe to this channel. You're on our Facebook page as well. And of course, if you have questions, let us know. Shoot me an email, travel at bookislandtime.com. We would love to answer all of your questions and provide service to you. If you're booking a cruise or want someone to manage your cruise, we will take care of your selling, your vacation, end to end. Islanders, have a great day. We'll talk to you tomorrow right here on Island Time.